as soon as I looked at it, it was just... Forgot the lid. Oh, <laughs> nearly latched onto his foot. <laughs> no way. We are the Bondi Rescue Lifeguards. And today, we're reacting to the wackiest animal rescues. Enjoy. Just around the corner from Bondi at Bronte, we've been called for a dangerous threat. Oh, that's a big funny. shark in the pool. We've got a predator amongst us. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to remove the shark. I'm a shark hunter. It's alive. This is a rescue mission, everyone. I thought I was Sorry. Now. I feel like what we're here for. Oh we... my god. Lifeguards don't just save lives, all right? That's not just humans. We help the animals too, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's an oddball, Harry. He's the, um, oh. you know, he can talk to the kids on the same level. <laughs> Still in there, Paul. Yeah. Oh, little wobby gone. Seen the shark. He could have dived straight into my hairstyle. <laughs> He's looking at his teeth, going, "You're a shark too." <laughs> I feel like but every time there's an incident as well in the pool, Harry's is involved, isn't he? Every yeah, time. He must create something. Yeah, yeah I reckon yeah. he puts him in there. <laughs> oh, he's got his teeth out. There's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he worked for the fish market. <laughs> If it had been any smaller, it would have probably slipped through the net. Oh no! We've got to put him back! No! Oh. <laughs> wow, that's his favourite rescue. Yeah. Look at the crowd, he's loving it. There he goes. I've rescued many people but never rescued a shark, so it's great. I had a shark story. We were at Bronte. Same shark actually, Wobby on. And I kid you not, over the radio, a guy's just been bitten by a shark. And I'm like, no way, mm. shark attack, yes, I've never had. I mean, of course you don't yeah, want yeah, a no. missing limb, but yeah, yeah. I was excited to be part of a shark attack. And I was like, oh yeah, what is it? He goes, he's coming up to the first aid room, he's still got it, and it was latched on his arm. A oh, shark, yeah, wouldn't let go. And he was no just trying way. to pull it. It was a similar size one. And unfortunately, the first aid was chop its head off. Oh, well, what else <laughs> The only way it was Can't releasing release it, it was yeah. like, it was drowned anyway, and that was nuts. <laughs> wow. I have heard of exact same Wobbegongs, Port Jackson's, um, Grey Nurses, they all, like, because people are diving in the rocks and stuff, that's yep. where they live, so yeah. they're, they're naturally snatching onto stuff. So if you're going down, down putting your hands in, I have heard of people getting attacked exactly like that and just latching onto forearms. Yeah, that's the bogey hole, they're mad yeah. for it. Just scooping around. Not very deadly, but still scary. <laughs> yeah. Sea snakes are deadly creatures. We couldn't leave a sea snake swimming close to the flags, no. Um, the preferred option would be to get it out of the water completely. Just a few milligrams of sea snakes. How do you get it out? Oh, mate, just probably pull it. Protected. I've had a sea snake story. It was alive, but then dead, and then like it was struggling, and then it'd lash at me, and we really? didn't know what snake it was. And then finally got out in the surf, and then it'd swim back in the flags. It was oh. just this nightmare. Anyway, it's finally scary. it it perished in the end. Googled it, like the most deadly sea snake no on earth. way no known venom like it was just and i was just reading it going oh, oh. and i was out of control picking it up really and it's like no i'm no snake wrangler shit myself like it really was some random that's sea snake eye. that's an eye opener <laughs> <laughs> oh. they're the most venomous snake in the world <laughs> that's yours it wasn't that one i <laughs> having grapple Tommy's is a young guy. Some of the, the, the newer members to the team are, are eager to impress, you could say. It's only after Tommy volunteers that he gets all the facts. Yeah, they are super deadly. Um, his exercise all too caution. So you can just tell that Tommy's a trainee at the time because if that was asked of me, I'd tell him to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. And he jumps straight on the board. <laughs> People have died from sea snake bites. I would not do that. <laughs> no chance. Yeah. Trainee, just playing with deadly creatures. I'm not scared of snakes. Ah! At least I didn't think I was. <laughs> <laughs> to your face to face. Tommy realises he won't be catching the sea snake with his bare hands. Fully, what are you doing? Lifeguard Jules has a solution. Troy's gone out to catch oh, the wildlife warrior. The wildlife. Jules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got it. 
right in the get middle. Get in the bucket. Go, go, go. He just grabbed it with the oar and flicked it into the bucket. Sick. Nice. Oh, good rescue. <laughs> like a true snake wrangler. They have for snake. <laughs> you couldn't pay me, especially Waverly Council, they couldn't pay me any, any amount to pick up a snake. <laughs> Can you believe I've never seen one, have you? Well, I've seen them, but I've never gone near I them. did, twice. Where? One here, one when I was living in Port Stevens. And I had to stop it with a rescue board going through, through the flags. No way. And I swear to God, brown snakes. Oh my God, so scary. That's just like the beauty of the job. You don't know what's going to happen. Like, like no, no rescues happen on the beach. It's like a calm day or something. And then, boom, you got a deadly snake that you're trying to wrangle for half an hour. And improvising with what you've got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. An IRB, a crate, <laughs> an oar. Rescue completely. It was an all hands on deck job. <laughs> all hands on deck. Another pun. <laughs> One of the crates. <laughs> Three stingrays have invaded the pool at high tide. It's the lifeguard's job to evict them. See the buck. Oh, the, the crate was a much better call. Yeah. Serious injury. The danger is. Yeah, well, we've seen that. The cute an Australian icon. <laughs> yeah. Put in there. Put in there. It's brave. Bacon <laughs> collars the smallest one. If there was one animal I would go nowhere near, it's, it's Stingray's right up there, hey, especially since it's, the whole Steve Irwin's death thing. Wow. I yeah. feel like every Australian since then is petrified of Stingrays, like more. I wouldn't try it for stingray sure. Stingray or snake? Oh, Stingray, you can't see really, like they're under the sands. At least the snakes, you can sort of spot it. Yeah. But Stingray, no. <laughs> Definitely, like. I've seen someone get stung in the ankle at North Bondi. I wasn't working at the time, I was younger and barb in the ankle, like was, was a barb small- physically still there? In the ankle, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, 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 like in the back of the Achilles. And that was down at North Bondi too. So I don't know what it is down there. They must just come in over the rocks or something at high tide. High tide. Some high technology and- Oh wow. I swear these pools, every single one of these pools is it, How many animals have we had? We've had a stingray? Stingray, shark. Shark. Blue ring octopus, octopus yeah. octopuses in there. Yeah, yeah, a few. If you're watching at home, stay away from the Bondi <laughs> pools. <laughs> Never know what you'll see. Yeah. Former rugby international Matt Burke is. Burkey. This is an old one. Tangle themselves up. Wow. Look at the buggy. 23 tests on the wing for Australia. So, how does a wallaby catch a seagull? <laughs> That's a horrible pass. <laughs> Why is he trying to catch it? Got uh, fishing line on it, I think. That didn't work. Ah. Oh yeah. Got yeah. it. Oh, his mate's trying to get him. Oh, his mate's been hooked. Oh, they're hooked together. Oh, so many hooks in it. No. Oh, he did a good job there. Is your wing, buddy? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Premium crowd. Swimming between the flags is no longer. Oh, another snake. Bacon's a big, it was pretty Bacon, cheap. bacon grills. Oh, Wait, buddy, there's a snake right there. A sea snake. Mate, I am that scared of snakes. I'm so glad I'm not down there. It never goes close to the animals. No, I'm always there. in the tower. <laughs> That'd be me if I was there. Nowhere near it. You can have that. It's not, not in the opposition description, is it? Handling of snakes and rats. I've never seen a snake on Bondi Beach before. I heard there have been snakes, but I've never seen one in the water. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Jake. I've, like, however long I've surfed around the area for, I've never ever seen a sea snake around here. I've only hey. seen them when I'm away. Yeah, I'm okay. surprised looking back at footage that there's sea snakes at Bondi, and that's twice now. Yeah, yeah I've seen them. I've, really? Yeah, for sure. I think the only reason they don't get more people is their mouths are really small, yeah, like the actual right. fangs, but yeah. the venom itself is, is like high, yeah. highly toxic. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Brave or foolhardy, Bacon decides the snake has to go. No way. Whoops off his head, mate. He's so close to it. <laughs> and they're really hammered by then as well. Like, look how tired it is. Oh, he oh he's got done away. well. Look how buggered it is. Bacon, the reptile wrangler. First rescue of its kind to the boys in blue. Alright, Jay, why don't you put it on that side? Mate, I don't want to get anywhere near his head. Put it down and I'll flick it in with the. Just put it on the ground, yeah. Oh. Ah! So you know, they're dealing with all these snakes and stuff. I just remembered something. 
So my second year at work, yeah, I was opening up the tower in the morning. Six o'clock. You know we get to work. Yeah, we're all tired. Yeah. I opened up the tower and I thought, what's that smell? I look on the stretcher next to like the the buggy, and there is a dolphin. Oh a my dead, god! Like a dead, a dead dolphin. dolphin. Yeah. And it would have been six, eight foot long. And I thought, only at this bloody beach. And why didn't the boys the day before remember? say, hey, just before you open up, there's a dolphin underneath. Unbelievable. Absolutely what a start. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I can smell it. Sad, but Sad, you know, yeah. it happens. Yeah, we've got a Port Jackson shark. Here we go. Another, Another one. one. See, Harry's yeah, in the so sharks again. <laughs> <laughs> Told you he puts them in He's there. I'm telling you. Yeah, for sure. Look at him. Definitely. <laughs> 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 must have some in his pool yeah, at home. Yeah. <laughs> we've got to get it out. Sharks and kiddies' pools aren't a good mix. Even though it's small, a Port Jackson shark can bite if provoked. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> How is he? Harry's remains characteristically oh. brave in the face of danger. <laughs> oh, that's a solid one. Hold on, little fella, we're trying to help you. Bigger than his last one. When it comes to animals, lifeguards touch, are less grab that. Grab the tail, yeah. yeah. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's being caught. The shark has a hook and trace caught in its mouth. Oh. No, it's... Oh, God, look at it. Can you hold his head? <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's just too It's going to rust. It's just to get back in the water. I sense potential. That's Australia. <laughs> get in the kangaroos and sharks. <laughs> See snakes. You don't know snakes. what's coming for you. I have just got a phone call and yeah, there's a um, rat up in the bowl. So hate rats. Run some gloves and do a bit of a Steve Irwin up there. <sighs> They're disgusting. So many in Bondi. Look at it. It's trying to do a fakey. That's not in the manual. <laughs> it's a pretty big scene up here. There's people everywhere, so we're going to come up and. If it's not too vicious, we'll try and catch it, throw on a pair of gloves and do our dirty work. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably going to be harder. When I get to the skate bowl, the coppers are doing nothing. So I was kind of like, it's a rat. Like, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why did I drop into the bowl with no shoes on? That's just plain old Jesse just doing things before he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to run out of the bowl because it's oh, so slippery too. You've been in there. Look at this thing. It's not a small rat. Job oh, he's got it. How easy was that? Oh, <laughs> huge. Oh. As soon as I looked at it, it was just... Forgot the lid. Oh, it nearly latched onto his foot. <laughs> no <laughs> way. That's <laughs> vicious. Oh, oh my God. God. That was so funny. That's he's huge. still going. Look at it going. <laughs> Oh, it's going in too. He's winning then. <laughs> oh, that's out of my pay scale. There's no way. I must say, this is one of the most iconic things on, on Bono oh, Rescue. Rescue. Every yeah. time when we're at work, they say, where's Jesse and is there a rat in the skate ball? Oh my God. And we still get that now. And I reckon this would be 10 years ago plus. This was before I started. Definitely I knew it wasn't my jacket. As if I'd use my jacket to put on. Who's <laughs> 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 has he got? <laughs> No way. <laughs> oh, he let it go. Look at the size of the thing. Cops didn't want to borrow that. Nah, he went in there with good intentions. That is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather six to eight foot like in the twins than a rat going for my face. I, I, really? I reckon of all animals on earth, I'd be better than a rat with mangy teeth like just gnawing <laughs> through. They gnaw through concrete yeah, and shit. They like, they're hectic. I, putrid things. I wouldn't want to come face to face with one like that. Mate, no it way. goes him. But like, I reckon I reckon I would have done a Jesse approach too and just go in that bowl thinking, oh, it's just a rat. <laughs> yeah, fully. I and would, it went him the other time as well. Yeah, that's yeah. just a horror rescue. Yeah, that signed me out for that's there's no way. I'd, I'd do most things on the job. Yeah, but yeah. I, I would have liked to have tapped out of that one. Have you ever had to rescue an animal? <laughs> Mate, I haven't, but Eddie's first ever rescue was a wallaby. Oh no. Yes. So everyone gets to start, everyone look, watch everyone do their first rescue, usually a lady or someone in trouble. Eddie, there's a wallaby. <laughs> no, actually, sorry, it was, we said, there's an animal out further to see, can you go and see what it is? And his first rescue, he's launched up, 
Picked it picked up. He's got a wallaby on his board. First ever rescue at the Bondi Beach. Ever. Best ever. I wish, I wish so I got it on camera. So yeah. Australian. <laughs> Couldn't be more Australian than That's that. It. Thanks for watching. Check out the Bondi Rescue channel for more clips like this.